What's up guys? We are on the hunt for cards and games. Let's get started.
guys. So we're just about ready to wrap up everything. Had an amazing time in the arcade pinball room. It was really cool. Um, I pretty much bought a lot. I broke the bank, but it was totally worth it. I would say that the Pittsburgh Expo Gaming Expo is absolutely amazing. I even saw Nintendo here, which was really cool. I played some Mario Kart 64. So we're going to look at more vendors just a little bit. And we're going to wrap everything up and I'll take you back to the place and I'll show you everything that I got. we are back from the Pittsburgh Gaming Expo in Monroeville, PA. It was a ton of fun. I probably broke the bank, I'll be honest with you. So we're actually gonna go through and look at everything that I got. So first up, uh, the first booth didn't really have a business card I could show, but he went by Game Genie is what I presume. I'm gonna try to look for it on Facebook and see if it kind of pops up over here. My big gets were Um Jammer Lammy, which I was very excited to see. I grew up with Parappa the Rapper. Um, I remember playing it over and over again on a demo disc, and I can't remember if it was from the PlayStation magazine or Pizza Hut growing up, but I wore the game out. I had many copies of Parappa, and I didn't even know until about five or six years ago that Um Jammer Lammy existed. But this is the Japanese version of it. It's got a little bit of crack in the case, but I'm probably gonna replace it, honestly. And then here are the contents of the game in the back. I thought at first it was a CD, but no, it's the actual game. Pretty cool. So I can't wait to play it. I'll probably sit down and play it, you know, kind of off on the side because like I said, I just love Parappa. Next was my biggest purchase um, at the Pittsburgh Expo. I couldn't believe that I got it. I started playing this game series back when I was in high school. So I would say about 10 years ago. And I went to the Goodwill and I got the first like part of this game only for five dollars well the series is parasite eve and since i have parasite eve one i decided to pick up parasite eve two in very good mint condition very good i don't even know what it's about i only got through about halfway through the first game so i am going to sit down and play it again and try to wrap it up i'm stuck at cerberus okay it's a really hard fight but i love the series i love um as she's really cool and there's the back of it and then if we open this up here is the disc and it even came with the manual as well so really 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 cool but yeah my most expensive purchase of the expo totally worth it next up from i got next i found one of the missing animal crossing amiibo cards that i was missing walker really cool that means i'm only missing one more card from that series we got the mega man anniversary collection on the PlayStation 2, not bad. We have Warhammer Fire Warrior. And then last but not least, we have Doom 3, the limited collector's edition. And the case is really cool. There's the front and there is the back. Taking out of the case, it is metal, so it's really cool. Pretty cool. Next up from Cartridge Galore, there's their card, and there are the locations. We got this funny looking Ratchet and Clank game in Japanese. Look at his face. That's pretty funny. That's hilarious. And then here is the back of that case. And then this wouldn't be a card channel without cards. So I did find the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151 poster collection, and I am going to be doing a video on that. By the way, uh, make sure that you are sub to the channel because I am going to be giving away a Scarlet and Violet 151 Elite Trainer Box. Uh, I'm going to announce the winner in about two weeks. I'm going to make a video where I'm opening up all the ETBs. It's going to be great, and that's when I'll announce the winner. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. You go and follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on what you hope to pull. Just 
make sure that you do that in, on the short video. I'll leave a link in the description below, but let's keep looking at everything that we got. Next up from Retro Games Asylum, here is their little card. And then they are located in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. I finally got another copy of Diamond because for some reason when I was making my move to Pennsylvania, I completely lost it. So there's a copy with that. And then I uh, also have Yoshi's Island and Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. And there's a little story to be told with these two games. It was a part of my old collection that I had back in when I was in middle school. Uh, I had a glasses case of all my DS games and they were completely stolen from me. So we are almost done with trying to get all of those games back. Next up, we also have Dragon's Quest Monsters Joker. This case is actually a little heavy and pretty cool. I saw it and I was like, I have to get it and see because I actually like the uh, Monsters series. It's really cool. And also, Dragon Quest IX is my favorite out of the entire series. Of course, more Sonic for you because I love Chow Garden. Sega, please make a game based off of Chow Garden. Please, just Chow Garden. We have Sonic DX Adventure Director's Cut. And there is the back of that. And then we also have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, of course. Like the best in the series. Love this game. I can hear the theme from Pumpkin Hill playing in my head right now. And last but not least, we have Tekken Tag Team Tournament. I grew up with this game. I wanted it. I love it. Really cool. Pretty much the only Tekken game that I've probably ever played. I need to really get into the series more. So one of the first booths that we encountered uh, when we walked in was Games by T.O. Bringing the, nostalgia, bringing the nostalgia back for less. And there's their information. Really nice guy. And uh, once again, tying back into losing my collection from middle school. I have all the cases. I'm just trying to look for them. Um, but all the games are missing. So I actually did manage to get Super Princess Peach, one of my favorite DS games growing up. And I did see that they're making a Peach game. So I'm really excited for that too. I don't have a business card for this gentleman either. But he was there just representing, being awesome. Um, just a collector trying to, you know, sell some games. So I did find Ever Oasis for the 3DS at a very good price. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Very, very cool. I've been meaning to sit down and play this game, so yeah, chip looks good, everything. There that is. I also am a big, huge fan of Spirit Tracks, but I never got to play Phantom Hourglass, so there's that. I even have the guidebook, which is crazy, but I didn't even own the game, so finally, I have Hourglass a part of my collection. And then we also have Final Fantasy Fables. Chocobo Tales. Very cute. I had never even heard of this game before, so I was like, oh, I should get it and play it. So it should be fun. Then we also have me and my Katamari. And then you won't catch me playing this game. Not for me, because it's traumatizing. We have Trauma Center New Blood for the Wii. I can already hear the song playing in my head. <laughs> not playing it. I did also stop by Risen Esports, their booth, which is really cool, and I spun the wheel and I got an awesome snap band. These things are awesome. I love them. So also, uh, I was given an advertisement. So if you're going to be in the area, make sure that you attend Great Lakes Geek Fest hop happening on October 21st. Uh, yeah, if you're in Ohio, go for it. But now we're also going to take a look at some of the cards that I got because we are a card channel. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I'm a Vault X affiliate. And you can save 10% on your next purchase on Vault X by using code CZABU. So make sure you do that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that I got. So we're going to start with Vol Bolton V. Which you would think I would have had this card. But no, I really didn't. I just kept thinking every time I'd go out I thought I had it and I didn't. Uh, we have Calrex VMAX, very gorgeous card. Next up, we have Grant. We have Chi Yu. We have Espeon and Deoxys. We have Ortega. And then last but not least, we have Hisuian Zorark V-Star. And lastly, I didn't know this, but Nintendo was actually there. So I picked up a Pikmin Field Guide, which... You know, it has like a cute little activity book that you can go through, and it's really cute. I love Pikmin. It's awesome. But uh, also, I got to play uh, Mario Kart 64. It was pretty cool. And then I picked up some little Mario 
or Nintendo cards. I didn't really get the chance to open them, so we are going to open those and see what comes with it. So, we're going to start out with Mario, and it's just kind of got like some information about him. And then we have Peach. We have Bowser. We have Link and Pikmin. There's our buddy Pikachu. We have Tom Nook. And last but not least, we have Isabelle. And of course on the back it kind of just says worlds of Nintendo Switch and everything that you can you can buy. But that is going to be all. Thank you all so much for watching this travel video. I had an amazing time at the Pittsburgh Gaming Expo. Cannot wait for another one to happen. I spent quite a bit of money and it was all totally worth it. But if you like my traveling videos, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll catch you all next time with more travel videos. Until then, peace out. Bye.